Hey gang, Roy Free Sr. back today. Today I want to talk about Terry Bollea, also known as Hulk Hogan. I'd like to give some kudos to Hulk because he's been very outspoken about his faith in Jesus Christ. Unlike some celebrities and bodybuilders that will mention Jesus Christ after they've won a contest or something and say, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's all great and good, but if you go and try to find their testimony or their walk with Christ or them talking about their faith and stuff like that, it's not that easy to find. Though you can find their competition videos and training videos and all these kind of things very easily on YouTube. That should not be the case. Now, um, Terry was just on the Joe Rogan show the other day, and I noticed, and he was wearing a John 316 shirt, which is awesome. And... Uh, as we know, John 3.16 is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should have everlasting life. And it's good to see. And I've seen him wear that shirt quite a bit, and that, that's awesome. Also, I see, saw a recent uh, Twitter post where he gives his testimony. He said, I accepted Christ as my Savior at 14 years old, and the training, prayers, and vitamins kept me in the game. But now that I am one with God, the main event theme of surrender, service, and love makes me the real main event that can slam any giant of any size through the power of my Lord and Savior. And so it is even now, brother. Amen. And you can hear him with his brother voice even saying that. And then um, I'm also going to give a little video where he's... Uh, talking about his faith too. Well, you know, when things were tough, you know, I realized that this too shall pass, you know, that this was just a temporary situation. I realized that, you know, as long as I made the right choice, you know, and, and followed my faith more than what people were saying, what the newspapers, or the tabloids were saying, it didn't get sucked into that. None of that stuff was real. The only thing that is really real is the stuff that's going to last forever. You know, your faith and your belief in God and, and knowing that, you know, once you're a Christian, you've accepted Christ as your Savior. You know, you're not going to perish, but you're going to have everlasting life. That belief in itself and that faith is what's pretty much the only thing that's real to me, you know. Everything else is kind of like a life situation, but that's my life after life after life. 